All right. Hi, everybody. This is a meditation called The Room of Requirement. And I made this with a friend of mine named Billy. They're amazing. They have this incredible zine with, uh, from people all over the world about taking our health back. They're called PMS. Uh, power makes us sick. And I have put their info in the space below because they are doing incredible work in Spain, in Greece, in the U.S., uh, literally all over the world to take back our health into our own hands as a community, as a collective, with all the wisdom that we have. This is a meditation to do uh, right now, in this exact time, with what's going on in the world. It's a visualization in a space where you feel safe, a space where you feel cared for, a space that is everything you need. So I would recommend to sit on a chair, sit on the floor. Uh, you could lie upright in bed. If you are trying to sleep, if you're having trouble sleeping, just lie down in bed and listen to this. Uh, close the eyes. You don't need to watch me read. Uh, or a soft gaze if you feel more comfortable. Just stare at a point on the floor. If you can, find a quiet space. If not, put in some earbuds. So here we go. Find a comfortable seat in a chair or on the floor. Feel your feet or seat press into the floor. Or if you're lying down, feel the entire body make contact with the floor or the bed. Notice how the spine can elongate, whether you're lying down or seated. If you're seated, place your hands on your thighs or in your lap. Gently relax the shoulders down the back as you feel your sternum and crown of head lift towards the sky. Again, allow your eyes to close. If this feels uncomfortable. Find a spot on the floor just in front of you to focus your attention. Notice the natural flow of your breath. Feel the breath move in through the nostrils and out through the nostrils. Take a few moments here to feel your breath moving in and moving out. As you notice the subtle movement and feeling of the breath in and out through the nostrils, feel the weight of your feet, of your legs, the warmth and the pressure of your hands on your thighs, in your lap, or on your chest. Begin to notice the rise and fall of the chest, the expansion, contraction of the lungs, the weight of the shoulders, the weight of the head. So whether your eyes are closed or a soft gaze, feel and notice the depth of the space in front of you. Notice the space behind you or below you. To the right side. And to the left side. below you, and above you. Feel how your body takes up room in this space. And now notice the space inside your body. space of the bones, 
length of the bones, large and small. organs, your stomach, your kidneys, your lungs, your heart, your eyes, your brain, and all the space in between. Now picture yourself just as you are in a seated position in an empty room. In this empty room, once again, notice the space in front of you. Behind you. To the right side, to the left side, below you, and above you. This is your room of requirement, a psychic space in which all your physical and mental needs are attended to by the power of your choice. During this exercise, you will call to mind images, items, sounds, and people that facilitate health and comfort in your life. There are no limits or wrong answers. If your mind draws a blank, that's okay. Allow yourself to be in this space at ease and in comfort. Notice the temperature in the room that facilitates your comfort. Do you prefer for the room to be a bit chilly? Or do you prefer a warmer environment? What clothing is most comfortable in this room for you and your body? Picture the walls painted in a color that soothes you, that lends to creative productivity, or a color that reminds you of home, safety. There could be a pattern or a mural on the wall. There may be a window or windows in the room. If so, when you look out, what do you see? What do you see that makes you feel closer to nature, community, neighbors, and content with your immediate surroundings? Are the windows open? What sounds drift through that further contribute to feelings of joy, ease, delight, safety, and peace. Just for a few moments in your room, look at the space around you, feel the temperature of your body, look out the window, and listen. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. To your right, picture a small side table. On this side table is a pitcher full of clear, cool, clean water. Take the pitcher, fill the glass slowly drink the water. As you drink, 
Savor its coolness as you swallow. Notice for a few moments how a few sips of water can make you feel. Once you finish drinking, to your left, picture another side table, this one larger than the first. And on this table, picture the items that comfort you in times of physical or mental emotional sickness. What items do you see that make your body and mind feel whole again? that soothe your body and mind, that work to alleviate symptoms of sickness. This could be traditional or holistic medicine, books, family cures, items from nature, keepsakes, mementos, etc. Now choose one of these items that could address an issue going on now in your life, or an item that just makes you feel good. See yourself using this item and feel its effects on the body and the mind. Take three more deep breaths with this item. Now in the space in front of you in this room, picture a long banquet table. And on this table, picture foods that nourish your body. Think of foods that create wholeness, hydration, satisfaction, ease, and lightness in your body. Look at the shape and the colors of these foods. Now picture yourself getting out of your seat slowly and walking towards the table. Look at the food and pick up one item that calls to you. What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Take one bite out of this food. Feel the sensation and taste on your tongue. And after you swallow, notice any effects on your body or mind. Picture across from you a trusted friend, a family member, or an animal friend. Feel your trusted person's ability to truly listen to your cares, concerns, worries, joys, and woes in this room. See their caring eyes and feel their genuine compassion and willingness to support and listen to you. For a few moments, sit across from this friend in silence or in your mind express a worry fear, celebration, success, or concern to your trusted person. They don't need to say anything back.
Just notice the receptivity to your truth. Thank this friend in any way you like. A bow, a hug. Now just rest in your room. Feel the temperature. Look around the room, out the window, the windows. Feel the clothing on your body. Now feel free to explore your room more. Feel free to eat more food, to move and breathe in silence, to music. And continue a dialogue with your trusted friend. Touch the walls, the floor, the furniture in this room. Maybe you lie down on a bed. Just for a few moments, begin to familiarize yourself with your room. Resting in this space that is wholly yours. Here to provide and to care for you. Slowly come back to your breathing. Letting the room darken, knowing that it's there, always accessible to you. Now come back to the body. Notice any physical or emotional effects from the visualization. Take time once again to feel your legs, your hands, chest, shoulders, neck, back of the head, jaw and the cheeks, the eyes, very top of your head in this space. As we move through the next few days, or in any time of illness or discomfort, remember that this room is available to you. Seeing yourself with access to tools that work best for you can aid in the healing and empowering process. 
this visualization can be a good preventative maintenance exercise. But even when we are feeling our best, it is important to remind ourselves of what does keep us feeling healthy or most like our true selves. When we do move away from the practices we store in our room of requirement, we can always come back and take stock of what needs to be replenished.